Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, if you're anything like me, you might be a little bit of a test equipment junkie. Um, I've acquired a rather interesting assortment of test equipment over the years. I have a whole drawer full of tone trackers and tracers and cable testers and some digital thermometers. I've got a couple different butt sets I've used for diagnosing telephone stuff, for doing network installs that I've done. I have various voltage testers and all sorts of other doodads. So it should come as no surprise then that I got some new, a new piece of uh, sort of eyeball test equipment. Uh, this is from Trifield. And if we take a look in this rather nice hard shell case, we have this. This is a Trifield, Trifield model TF2 EMF meter. Uh, this is made in the United States by uh, who is it? Alpha Labs, I think, is the company that makes the that markets this under the name Trifield. And this is an EMF meter, so this will measure magnetic and um, electronic. Uh, whoa, electronic fields in equipment and whatnot. Uh, I had an old Sperry meter that basically just had a digital output and gave you a number. That was it. Um, I think I loaned it to someone and uh, it found a new home. So I wanted another one and I was looking online and did a little research. And this seems to be one of the better, maybe the top rated, um, let's say consumer level, consumer plus level EMF meters. Has a nice display. Um, has a little digital digital bar graph that's on it. Uh, it will show you, and I'm going to get the, the little card here, so I know exactly what the uh, the units are. So this will show us show us milligauss. Uh, it'll show us for that's for for magnetic measurements. It will show us volts per meter, and that's for electric fields. And it will do RF, it will show milliwatts per square meter. So those are the three things it measures. It has what's called standard and weighted. Uh, standard measurements are just measuring what's out there. The weighted measurements are as would be seen by your body. Um, it emphasizes some of the higher frequencies um, in that field. And then RF is just, it's just an RF reading. Oh. And they tell you what some typical healthy levels are. Uh, standard magnetic milligauss readings should be 3 milligauss in a standard reading or 5 milligauss in, a, in the weighted reading. For electric fields, uh, 50 volts per meter, standard or weighted. And then for RF measurements, uh, you know, 0.2 milliwatts per square meter is considered to be uh, sort of normal levels. These are low levels. This is what you would want to find. Um, some common sources of higher fields, higher magnetic fields, are things like power lines and appliances and transformers and breaker boxes. Um, high electric fields could be outlets, you know, right, right by an outlet, fluorescent lighting and power lines. And RF are things like cell phones and cell towers. Um, your, your, you know, Wi-Fi if you go near your, uh, your, near your router or microwave ovens, things like that. Smart meters, things that are, things that are transmitting. So, uh, so let's take a so let's let's take a look here. I think the easiest way to see what this does is I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to unhook the camera here and go a little bit mobile so I can 
move this by a couple different sources and we can see what it does. So let's see if I can do this. Let's take a look here. So uh, here's my bench. Um, I'll have to do a video about my bench again at some point. But if we, uh, we put a couple things on here and we say, let's measure the magnetic field. So let's get the meter in view. And as we get closer, we can see how high it gets. It actually goes off the scale. And if we move back, and like all these things, the further away you are, the better. So, you know, from where I sit at the bench here, this is, position-wise, this is where I sit. You know, I'm, you know, I'm well below the 3 milligauss reading that they consider before it's harmful. So what I probably don't want to do is I don't want to sleep on top of my power supply. Um, if we go and look at the electric field, let's see how that is. And no, that should be below 50. And back here, I'm at 25. And if we get closer, see some of the readings. If I go up by my light here, So, you know, the advantage of this is that, you know, if you want to see is the area that you're, where you're working, where you're sitting, you know, how is it from a, from a sort of a health standpoint? That's the idea of, of, of this meter. So I know that with all the equipment I have around me and where I'm sitting, you know, I'm not being, I'm not being too overly exposed to things. So I want to show the RF reading. Now, if you see that little thing blipping there, and you'll see it shows 0.1 milliwatts, you know, that's, um, you know, that's a good read, that, you know, that's a, a, a good number. We want to be down around 0.2. But why is it flickering like that? Well, let's take a little, let's take a little stroll here in, in my basement. And I, as I move closer to the router connected to my cable modem. Now, if you look, you can see these numbers are, are jumping a lot higher. And that's what that peak, where'd I go here? There we go. That's what that peak reading is. That peak reading will capture those fast moving high readings. So I'm gonna put, put a light on in here, and come over to the wall where I've got my cable modem and I've got my main router here and you can see it blip, blip, blipping there. And if we bring the meter buff up here, if I put it right next to it here, if you notice, it's pretty much flickering in time with the lights that are on there. So this is actually picking up the, the Wi-Fi signal coming out of there. And you'll notice the peak value is is over range because we're so close it's actually above one one milliwatt per square weed meter so if we move back just a little bit we should get numbers that that stay oh, a little bit lower let's come back here there we go Whoop. so you know, if you're one of these people who kind of has your uh, has your main router sitting in your living room next to the couch or something, uh, you may not want to do that. You know, you do want to limit your exposure to to RF energy, but you know, this will this will help you this will help you find it and zoom in on it. Uh, let's go back to let's go back to magnetic here. Let's. Uh, Let's see what's uh, going on in my breaker box here. So you can see, so for electric and, I mean, for any of this, you know, distance, distance is a, is a big thing. So, you know, standing just, just, you know, this far away puts us at a safe level. So, you know, one of the things that some people will worry about is, you know, 
is it okay to sleep with an alarm clock next to my bed and all that? And I think a lot of people don't really have any of that anymore. They use their phones and whatnot to wake them up. But it's a, uh, you know, it is a good way to just sort of walk around your environment and see, see where things are. So looking at magnetic here, if I come over here to my other workbench, you know, not too bad from the standpoint of my power strip. If I put on my overhead light, again, this is another little auxiliary spot that I have here. Not too bad. So given all the equipment that I have down here and, you know, wires running and all the other stuff, um, it's not too bad. So that's the tri-field meter. That's a little look at the tri-field EMF meter. Um, runs on a nine volt battery. It's got some buttons in here to set the backlight and set whether it, uh, whether it makes noise as it measures. Um, honestly, I find the noise annoying. I do like the backlight. So I've set mine to have the backlight. And that's it. It's, I mean, you can't get much simpler to work than this. Turn the switch to what you want to measure and measure it. That's it. Comes in a nice case. A little reference card here. Tells you what the things do. Tells you what the uh, recommended readings are. Keeps it nice and safe. And uh, got a little loop for uh, carrying it. And that's it. Uh, do you need one every day? No. But, um, you know, it might be interesting to bring to work to see what your desk is like. You know, cables, outlets at your desk or whatnot at work. Uh, if you want to just see what's going on in your bedroom, other areas where you spend an extended period of time, you know, you may want to check by your bed and see, you know, what are the electrical and magnetic levels you know, next to whatever's on my nightstand. And if you've got a clock sitting real close, you may want to say, hey, let me move that, you know, let me see about moving that away a little bit further. Um, you know, strong EMF fields have been linked to cancers and other things. There have long been stories about people getting cancer of the brain or whatnot from you know, being on cell phones continually with the, uh, the tel cell phone transmitting towards your head. Uh, I don't know whether that's anecdotal or whatnot, but, um, you know, if you're in the market for an EMF meter, uh, I would say, you know, this is a good one to get. Um, people also use them for ghost hunting. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. You know, if you're a ghost hunter when you're watching my channel and you need an EMF meter, from what I read, ghost hunters like this meter. Uh, I'm not ghost hunting. Questions, comments, leave them below. If you are so inclined, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.